Yo, what's up everybody? This is Brian Wacky Wacky Wack Off coming live to you from the work truck. I'm out here busting my butt doing some pulls, you know, same old shit, just a different pile, you know what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I go I hope you guys are having a blessed day. Let me put this uh, mic on. We're basically gonna just sit here and uh talk you know what I mean so our game plan <laughs> I dropped it our game plan is to uh, me and Nick Nicky love we're gonna be heading to Washington DC um, this weekend We'll be uh, heading to Washington, D.C. this weekend. We're going to go hit up the the People's Convoy. Yeah, so I don't know if you, I mean, hopefully you guys are subscribed and um, following the channel. We do all types of stuff. Um, we went on the Iron Gwazi. We on the um, new uh, icebreaker at SeaWorld. I still got to put that together. I did put a brief one up, but I did another one, um, a little bit more clear um, ride. And then I've been catching up with the convoy and, you know, seeing all where, they're, where they've been, where they've gone, what their turnout has been. I mean, their turnouts are crazy. So we decided, me and Nick, we we're like, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna go up there to Washington D.C. because that's where they're they're stopped. They're in their, the end of the stop is gonna be, and um, they're gonna go up there. So we want to see it ourselves. You know, we don't we don't trust the media. We don't you know trust anything unless we see it with our eyes. I mean, yeah, you know, I see you know I pay attention to some things and I try to you know, stay up to par on things, but try to stay away from the news channels and stuff like that. You know, Fox is a good one, but who, you know, it's my opinion, your opinion, whatever. And then also, I don't know if, or if you guys saw, we did the free fall um, last weekend and we went to uh, Universal Studios, Islands of Adventure, and then that, and then we also went to SeaWorld. That's where the POV for the the icebreaker will be. So that's coming up. But I wanted to put out some of the convoy videos that I got and put them up so you guys are, you know, would be touched touch base on that. Um, but I figured to do a video of chatting today. See how everybody is. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed day. And, um, I mean, here in Florida, it's 73 outside. I got a towel on my neck because I'm sweating my rear end off because it's actually hot. You know, everywhere else, it's freaking snowing or, you know, under or about 30 and under. You know, I, I feel your guys' pain. But uh, we're going to feel that this weekend coming up. Heading up to uh, Washington, D.C., we should uh, feel the cold weather. So, we're going to feel it this weekend. So, I'm definitely going to bring some live footage. I'm not up to... Yes, guys, please subscribe. Please show your friends. Show your family. We need to get this channel subscribed so I can go live. And we, I can show you the live right then and there instead of doing videos. Um, I mean, I'm still going to do videos, but I want to do live so I can give it to you straight right then and there. But they won't give, they won't allow me to go live unless I have a thousand subscribers. So please, guys, pass this video along or my videos, and you know. Check out the content, take a look at it, and also subscribe. Please subscribe and hit that bell up there on the corner so you can get notified every time. You know what I mean? So, for that being said, like I said, 
I hope you guys are having a blessed day. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Because it's Tuesday and I'm out here uh, working like always. So I'm going to be working Wednesday. Oh, wait. Today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, half a day Friday. And be out of here by like 2 o'clock or so. About 2 o'clock or so. Oh, there's a 5 -0 next to me. And I don't got my seatbelt on. So anyway, how? So don't forget to like, subscribe, all that. You know, all that. So we will be leaving on Friday about 1, between 1 and 3. So, and it says it's about 13-hour drive. So we're hoping to get there by like 6, between 6 and 10 Saturday morning. We check in our hotel after 3 p.m. So it'll give us a couple time, couple couple uh, couple hours to look around, um, do what I have to do, you know, to check things out. You know, I mean that's just what our best thing to do is. You know, it's Washington D.C. guys. There's so much stuff to do. I did call and ask if they had the any mandates or any of that they said no there's no mandates um no v status i don't have to bring my doctor stuff any of that and then i just heard this morning why isn't it funny how washington dc has lift all their mandates or, or their mask wearing and it was so funny i was watching F fox this morning and they were like um so what, what, what's the difference between yesterday and today? And Miss uh, Redhead was like, oh, uh, we just have less this, less that, and da 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 Yeah, whatever. Because the, the boys and the girls and the wives and the kids and all the true Americans that love this country are coming knocking on your doorstep to let you know that we're sick of it and that we need to tighten up and that this is a free country. We're not number 17. We're number one. And also, guys, please, you know, give us, give us your heart and your, um, your prayers and everything out. For the Ukrainians, you know, Russia, 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 or yeah, Rush. <laughs> Russia is a pain in the ass right now, and Putin is a fucking motherfucker. So sad, but that, I mean, now they're trying to cut that down, you know, the supply chain into the UK, or the UK, or not UK, but the, uh, Kurt, God, man, why can't I talk today? Russia and Ukraine, they're cutting Ukraine's supply off. And basically today they're going to do that or they already have or they're going to. They're going to cut the supply chain off and stop people from leaving the UK or Ukraine. It's fucked up, man. That's so fucked up. But just pray to God, you know, it just doesn't come this way. And there's hope for the best. You know what I mean? So, yeah, just, uh, I'll tell you what. I cannot wait to go to Washington, D.C. to check it out myself. Nikki Love, same thing. She was like, you know, I see all this stuff going on. We need to go there and check it out ourselves and basically video it document it and if you guys are willing and wanting to check it out please check this videos out we'll be leaving here Friday that will be March 4th I believe or 5th no, that's the 4th. And then we will be staying Saturday and Sunday. That's the 5th and the 6th. We'll be leaving on March 7th and coming back. So we'll be there about three days or so. 
So definitely stay tuned to that, guys, for sure. I'm going to do my darndest to give you the best footage that I can give you. You know what I'm talking about? And then also, I'm going to try to do some interviews. I don't know. We will see with some truckers and the people that are, you know, really into it. And definitely um, all the YouTube channels that are out there that are um, supporting this channel or supporting the, the People's Convoy and have been ride or die since day one. I'll tell you, if I didn't work or have a job or, or ha didn't have any plans, me and Nick would be there in a heartbeat. We would definitely take the ride and uh, go up there and do that guy on a motorcycle with the America flag out. Yeah, I'm, you know what? Today I'm going to go I'm going to go buy me American flag. I got one on the house, you know, over the doorway. And if you've been following me and know and seen the videos, you you would know where that bad boy is. Also, I got two American flags to be on both of my jet skis. They, they sit on the back of the the jet ski so when you're riding, you know, they'll be waving. Bah, bah, you know what I mean? We're waving proudly. So I got two of those on the ski. I do not have one for the truck and I do not have one for Nikki Love's car. So I'm going to go ahead and go pick that up today. I know they have a thing on uh, Amazon that you can put it in your your hitch you know what I mean like a, a pole thing but they're, dude they're they're asking like $400 for those suckers and I'm like man so I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna most likely uh, put it all together I'm definitely gonna go buy the the American flag today and then I'm gonna uh rig it up so when we drive or when we leave Friday we will be decked out I know I got a call or I'm heading to Nikki I got two one, three more pulls until I pull in to her place because she's at work also and uh, I gotta let her know that uh, we need to go to the store and get our American flag stuff, you know what I mean? Like, oh, I <laughs> went to the state fair and picked up a uh, American flag shirt, and I had bathing. I have a bathing suit that's American flag. So when I put those together, I look like a walking American flag. So I'm definitely gonna bring <laughs> that, but it's short sleeves and short shorts. So when it's 30 degrees. I'll tell you, I don't know if I could wear it, but I, I'm going to do my best. I'm going to take a picture, even if I got to put it on for five minutes to take a picture at the Capitol. That would be awesome. Dang, I'm, I'm glad I said this right now because, so I can remember this. So, guys, remind me that on the bottom. Text me and let me know. Or not text me, but message me and say, hey, don't forget to uh, wear your American flag outfit in front of the Capitol building or anywhere in Washington, D.C. I'm going to try to do the Capitol building or in front of the White House. That would be pretty cool. And then also um, head up a couple places to get our, our wardrobe because we definitely need American flag hats, American flag um, shirts, you know, long sleeve shirts, you know, all that. I need to go on Amazon and start ordering so I'll be here in like two days so I can get this. But yeah, we definitely need to do that. So I'm definitely going to let Nick know that we need to pick that up before our trip. And then also deck out the truck with American flag. I mean, I have stickers on the back. I mean, I really don't want to say what they are um, on here because they might just go chip, cut, that, cut the video right off. You know what I mean? So I don't want to do that. So I'm not going to say it, 
but you know, if you know what time it is, you know what the hell I got on the back of my truck. So, I'm going to put American flag on, I'm going to put shit. I mean, if they weren't $400 and were wasn't so hard to make, I'll put like three or four flags in the back, you know what I mean? Basically a Florida flag, American flag, and the other flag. But, uh, you know, the Brandon. Let's go Brandon flag. Oh, yeah. I should be a singer, baby. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Let's go Brandon. Yeah, yeah. So, that was a little fun. Fun little uh, thing there. So, again, I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I mean... Everybody needs to come together. This is what this convoy is all about, is unite. I mean, this is United States of America. We all need to unite. Doesn't matter what side of the, the, the bridge you're on or what side of the road you're on. You know what I mean? If you're on the left side or the right side of the road, you know, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter about the color of your skin. We all bleed the same colors. We are in the same country. We all need to come together, guys. If we don't, we're going to lose. We're going to lose this place to the worst people ever. So we need to tighten up, guys. We need to do what's right. And let's stand for the United States of America. We are in the best country ever. And I'm proud to say that. And I'm proud to be here. And I know everybody out there that's not here in the United States, they want to be here. So don't you think that people are trying to fight to come here? Why would they want to do that if this country sucks? Or if this country is not what it's capable or what it's what they're saying it is, you know what I mean? So, I mean, that should be a smack in the face, but, you know, that's just my opinion and everybody else's opinion, but I'm here not to judge. I'm not here to tell you what to do, how to do it, and that's why our country is so free, and that's why we have the right to say whatever the heck we want, but they're trying to cut that off, and that's wrong. Because all you got to do is not listen to my channel or not listen to what I have to say. You can disagree. You can not like me. You can, you know, but that's just, that's what America is all about. And we're so damn big that you could go, you know, over there and I won't ever talk to see you. You know what I mean? Like, country's so damn big. But whatever. So I hope you guys are ready for this weekend, the People's Convoy, Wacky Wyckoff, is going to Washington, D.C. to see for ourselves what this thing is all about. So I hope you guys are ready, and I hope you guys are willing and wanting to go with us. So please, subscribe, guys. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. It would mean the world to me, guys. All right, guys, you guys have a blessed day, and don't forget to tell your neighbor, have a great day, God bless, and shake their hand or ask them how their days are or how they're doing, and, you know, let's be friendly. Let's get back to where we were. Y'all take care. God bless, and Wacky Wacko is signing out. Bye. <laughs>